What's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you five things that you need to do to improve the print quality of your P1S or any other Bamboo Lab 3D printer. Let's jump straight into the video. Now this first tip you probably already know, but you need to thoroughly clean your build plate. Here I'm using dish soap and I'm completely wiping and rinsing and drying off my build plate before installing it back on my printer. Now on January 2nd, 2024, Bamboo Lab released an update for the P1S which introduces active motor noise cancellation. Now Bamboo Lab also mentions in this update that this update slightly improves vertical fine artifacts. So this will improve the surface quality of your print slightly. Um, now if you have this update, you will need to perform the calibration on your printer as mentioned on the website. So go over to your printer and scroll down to the third tab of the printer. And then here scroll all the way down to the calibration section and just click OK and go ahead and perform this calibration. It says it takes about 26 minutes. I find it will take just about 15 minutes. So now that your printer is calibrated, you will also need to perform filament calibration. So over on Bamboo Studio, click on the calibration tab and first click on flow dynamics. Select your nozzle and plate type that you're using and click on the filament that you would like to calibrate. Keep the method online and select your K value from 0.01 to a K value of 0.03 and change the value step to 0.001. These are the settings I would recommend so you will only need to do one pass through of this calibration. Once you have this set up, send it to your printer and let this print. It'll take about 7 or 10 minutes to complete. Once it's done, go over to your printer and remove the build plate and you will need to inspect very closely each of these lines and determine which line is the most uniform and consistent. Now in my case, I found that 0.019 was the most uniform and consistent line throughout all the lines, which is slightly below the default 0.02 value for the Bamboo Lab PLA. So once that is complete, over on Bamboo Studio, go ahead and enter the K value that you found was the best. As I mentioned, 0.019 looked best for me, so I'll enter that and click Confirm. Now you'll see over on your filament section in your AMS, it will show the new value in your filament. So the next filament calibration you'll need to do is go over to the flow rate section and similarly go ahead and select your nozzle diameter and your plate type, select the filament you'd like to calibrate and send this print job to your printer. Once that is done, again, remove your build plate and inspect the different pieces for the best quality of the surface finish of each of these boxes. Now here I've let my print plate cool a little bit so each of these boxes are loose on the plate but I find the best thing to do is to rub or use your nail over the top surface of the box and determine which one is the smoothest and most uniform. Similarly to the last step, go ahead and select which number was the smoothest and click on next. This will start up another print job with more fine resolution and then just perform the exact same step, print it off, remove the build plate and then determine which one is the best surface quality of your printer. Here I'm using my nail across the lines of the surface of each of these boxes and essentially whichever one is the most quiet you'll find is the smoothest and in my case this is the Bamboo Lab original PLA so I find the zero and zero print settings work the best. So go ahead and save this as a new filament preset if you would like and then click on confirm. So now that your build plate is perfectly clean, you've calibrated your printer and you perform two sets of filament calibrations, the next step is to fine tune the print parameters in your bamboo slicer. So I'm not going to be able to go through every setting here, but one of the main things is the seam position here. I find using a line puts a good value and you can go to preview your print and see the white dots and lines on your print surface. This will show you where the seam imperfections are. So go ahead and select on a line or back to put those print seam imperfections where you prefer. And another thing that really improves the print quality is the odor layer speed. So here I'm turning down my odor layer speed to 60 millimeters per second. That'll slow things down obviously on all the odor layers which will really improve the print surface quality. So here I'm going to send this to my printer and I'm going to assess how this Benchy looks compared to the Benchy that I printed in my last video which looked quite horrible. 
Here's the super high definition time lapse printing off this Benchy at 0.36 millimeter layer height. And you can see now that the print quality is pretty decent. There are a couple of artifacts, especially on the front bow of the Benchy. However, the overhangs look great. The cabin doesn't really have too many imperfections and there is no stringing at all within the cabin either. Compared to the last print, this is greatly improved. Um, and this is done by just calibrating the printer and the filament, even using the official Bamboo Lab filament and improving the print seam and print surface speed. So there you have it. And now that I have my P1S completely set up and optimized, I will be designing and printing projects on this YouTube channel. So make sure to subscribe and you will not be disappointed. Peace.